Sorry, uh, my name is Shane, and what I'm going to go through today is maintaining a high sales standard while coaching a team of people. Okay, so probably first and foremost, the most important thing is when you are training somebody to have a plan. Um, so obviously not to wing it. Um, and I have a plan from you know the observation day right through to the end of the six day trial. You know, so obviously kind of on their observation day, it's important to kind of educate them the whole time. So obviously you know they've never seen kind of rock up the door, you know, introduction stuff like that. So I'm explaining my tone of voice, you know, body language, why I left the customer, stuff like that. So tell them obviously I got the intro out there, why did you do a quick no there, explain absolutely everything that's going on in that day. And um, so obviously when they're starting, you know, they have a good idea, a good grasp of what's going on, you know. So um, then obviously moving into obviously when they're under trial, I'm gonna break it down into you know what to do in the office, what to do on the field, and then obviously back in the evening prime time as well. So um, in the office, what I'm doing every single morning, I have a plan, what I'm going to be working with, with that guy. So um, I get my plan of my COD, and I follow the COD every single day. Um, so uh, especially for somebody new training as well, you know, the COD is a great tool to tell you exactly what you need to train that guy that day. Um, so that would be one of the main things that I do in the office in the morning, is go through the COD, you know, the proper impacts around for the person that day. So obviously kind of the first day on the badge, you know, you're just getting your pitch practice out, you're building the guy's confidence, stuff like that, you know. And um, going through in the office as well, I'll introduce him to the best people, you know, obviously kind of the high rollers, you know, the guys just building stuff like that, then talk to the right people from the start, which, which is obviously important. And then the, the first day in the office as well, I'm going to have an expectation, you know. So uh, I'm going to tell him exactly how the week's going to work. You know, so obviously, you know, you're going to develop your two good days, you're going to your two bad days, and you're going to so he, he's obviously going to know what, what's going on down the line. So even if it isn't he knows a slow day at the start, I'd be like, sweet, listen, that's the first bad day out of the way. So we'll come one more day next, you know? Uh, and then obviously what I expect of the person as well. Um, so then kind of getting through the field, um, obviously, you know, but before we get in there, building the person's confidence, uh, I'm telling what I expect, you know? So obviously the first day, all I'm looking for the guy is, uh, I'm not going to set up the sales target. What I'm going to do is look, by the end of today, I want you to be confident for your pitch. So, you know, he's like, well, obviously that's not going to be too hard. So, the, the pressure's off straight away. And the way I kind of work my first day with the person, obviously, you know, I'm going to be with them at the start. I'll probably have to put a hold of the first round from there. So, I'm building the confidence, you know, this man well done, does brilliant clothes, just picking up little things that he's doing well. Um, so then obviously kind of accept your break, you know, we're breaking down the day. But it's like, cool, well, this is what we need to do now to get the results. So what we'll do is we'll go bunny hopping. Uh, I'll be with you at all times, you know, if, if you get into a house and you need me, just give me a call and I'll jump straight over to you and I'll uh, help you out that way. So obviously I have my own time on the field then, which is important. So I may be in a two, two and a half hour gap there, but I'm going to get my own sales, okay? Then once I've that done, I'm going to jump back over to him for even prime time, so maybe the last hour, hour and a half. Obviously, get him off the mark if he's not off the mark. Right? So that'll be the first step. And then again, second day on the field, it, it's going to be pretty much the same again. So, you know, I, I'm going to be waiting for maybe the first half of the day. And again, building his confidence, telling him everything he's doing right. And then obviously, picking out maybe one or two points that he needs to improve. And same again, you know, break that day, getting him off on his own. Obviously, that there's my time again, my two and a half to my three hours to get my own sales. And then I'm back to him for the, the last hour again. Um, next day then, you know, I, I, I'm going to kind of ease off a bit. I'm going to spend maybe an hour with him, an hour or two. Um, you know, make sure he's doing everything right. And then obviously I have my time to do my own sales then. Okay? Again, if it is a thing he's not up to mark, you know, I, I still have time to jump back to him then, find out a couple of pieces with him, and he's confident he's happy, you know? Next day then, I, I'll probably just pony up the, the whole day with him. Again, it, it depends how he is because, you know, you, you some guys just really confident and can be independent that quick, and then there's other guys, you know, the switch shire, you know, you need to spend more time with. But generally, on the fourth day, you know, I'm just going to probably have them the whole day, even leave them up to themselves to try and find a couple of pieces, okay? Next day, then, day five is obviously kind of uh, it's going to be their independence day, and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them their own separate territory. Again, if there's kind of any issues or anything like that, I'm going to phone call away, but uh, I, I, I let them by themselves, you know, see how they get on, okay? And then day six, I'll, I'll be putting up with them again, stay close to 
you know. Um, so that's kind of my, my six days on the field. And then every evening once I come back into prime time, what I'm doing obviously, you know, breaking down the day is very important to get a result to see, to see what you need to work on for the next day. And again, I'm going through CODs, you know, every single evening when I come back. So I'm giving them the solution. I'm like, look, you, you did this really well today. So all we need to do is kind of this night or tomorrow will be going to fly. So again, it's kind of building that confidence in the evening and, you know, telling them something they need to work on so they go home and have a solution for the next day. So I can do this all I need to do tomorrow and it's going to have a great day. Uh, and then again, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to keep them too late in the office when we get back because, you know, we've a wee bit of travelling. So get everything done, you know, 15, 20 minutes and, and get them out get them home, you know. And um, then I suppose that's kind of the, how I work my six days with, with a new guy. So kind of to you know, rehash kind of the main important parts is obviously, you know, prime time in the morning is so effective. You know, make sure you're using it correctly, you're working properly with them. Uh, follow the CODs absolutely religiously, um, especially if you're new to training as well. You know, it, it's such a tool that, that you can use. Um, it, it gives you day by day exactly, you know, what you need to work on with that guy. And then even prime time, so you're sending the guys home with a solution. Um, so, guys, that's, that's pretty much me. So, listen, have a...